Welcome to Scorched Earth Toys at AnyMoon.com's review of the CM's Tread. This is part two of the review. Uh, part one was the CM's Legios. Part three will be the Legios and Tread combined. On the left hand side, I have an Aoshima Tread. This is the same toy as a Robotech Toynami MPC Beta, uh, just a slightly different paint scheme. As you can see, the Toynami toy is larger. It's a true 155-ish, 148-ish scale toy. The CM's Tread is more like a 172 scale toy, while their Legios was more of a 148 to 155 scale toy. So there's uh, an odd discrepancy there, and fans that are strict on scale should probably stick with Toynami's offerings, even though the quality of their Legios and Alpha toys is horrid. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Toynami slash Aoshima toy for now. That will eventually have its own video review at a later date. Okay, so, let's talk about the CM's toy. Range of motion is solid. Um, arms can do whatever you want. Elbows not quite able to pinch up tight, um, but... They have range of motion left and right, as well as back and forth, so that's neat. Um, legs forward and back, as you would expect. The only limit here is back on the knee. That's going to run into a stopper pretty quick. So that'll slow you down if you're going for some really crazy poses. Um, otherwise, you do have... Um, some waist swivel. Hopefully my arm's not completely blocking everything there. Um, if you if you do that, you do have to get the back burner out of the way a little bit, but you'll learn how to massage that. The toes, all the toes, all three of them are articulated. Um, so that'll help you with some more aggressive stances. Uh, the head, unlike the Legio's toy, can do kind of whatever you want. Uh, as far as design attributes, you get the chest missiles and the shoulder missiles. The Toynami toy does not include those shoulder missiles, which is a bummer because the shoulder missiles are what the toy should use, I guess the vehicle would use, in fighter mode. It actually uses them in Batroid too, if I recall correctly. Alright, so that is the soldier mode. Not really much more to go over, and it's pretty line art accurate. Yeah, it's got some nice detail to it, up close, probably doesn't show too well on the camera. can get that good A stance going, and it's actually a lot of fun. Let's move on to fighter mode. This is fighter or bomber mode. I've got the Toynami slash Aoshima toy in the background here to once again show how much larger a true 155 or 148-ish scale toy is. But that's not what we're talking about right now, so I'll just remove it and move on. The CM's toy does a few things right. It looks really good from above, um, but when you push it over to the side here, you can see that the bomb bays um, that are supposed to fit between the legs don't, and so they pop up like some weird fin. That is not right. Uh, what is really cool, though, is what they've done with the cockpit. So the cockpit here has a swivel mechanism that conceals it for fighter mode and makes the chest look a lot cleaner in, I mean, I'm sorry, in soldier mode. And that's what makes the chest look so much cleaner in soldier mode. Uh, Toynami just does this action, which doesn't look as good in the soldier mode. Um... You may notice me just letting it flop around. That's because there are no integrated landing gears. They'd be really tough to pull off, so I'm not going to fault the toy that much. Uh, I'll show you their solution in just a second here. Uh, the hands clean, fold away. The There's a boom, or I don't even know what you'd call this thing, for the back booster that is adjustable, conceals for Batroid mode, and then pulls out for Bomber mode. And you can kind of adjust the toes because they're articulated however you like. So it's actually a really nice uh, bomber display for a toy that does kind of resemble a floating brick. Uh, 
So let us show off the landing gears. Uh, they are attached to the connecting boom, which is line art accurate, but the connecting boom here is not really line art accurate. I'll go into that more later. Uh, one thing to show off from a superficial standpoint, this red beta is the non-upgraded version. This blue one is the upgraded version. The only difference is these little guys right here, and that helps with connecting. Uh, just on its own, there's no real difference. Okay, so, problem with the landing gears is that any weight will cause them to flop back, cause the toy to flop back. Um, and you know, just not the cleanest presentation in the world. But, not the worst either. It's, it's perfectly acceptable. Uh, you're probably going to be putting a Legios on there one way shape or form so let's uh let's do that let's move on let's show off the combined entity and talk about the pros and cons associated with that <laughs> 